Hopefully this is at a good volume. Seems fine. Ah oh man, it's been a while since I've heard this theme. Very long time. Alright, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna be playing Metroid Dread. Something I've been waiting for for a while, so... Yeah, I mean, that'll do. I don't always go with, like, the lightest, you know? Like it tells me to. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X-Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as an even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. No Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infected with the X horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet and got infected and almost died. <laughs> I like the, uh, the graphic though. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metro DNA which also let me, left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. There I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and the Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It showed an X alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown. The transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven ME to investigate. The, oh, an Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made out of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out.
There we go. I like how the robots aren't made up of uh, defined material. It's just strong stuff. Use your imagination. Strongest stuff in the universe. Oh, that looks cool. We'll soon be entering CGR's atmosphere. Waiting for something to go wrong. The bounty for this mission does not seem appropriate. Already crash land, no way. No, nope, would appear so. Fuck's that? Okay, the same laser. Jeez. Oh yeah, his suit's different. I mean, apparently I have rockets, but I don't know how to shoot them. Alright, fine. Maybe I don't have what's necessary for rockets yet. Cool opening, yeah. It's good. Oh, this slide, cool. Use L. Oh, that's what that is, okay. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, am I gonna have to get used to these controls? Oh, jeez. Alright, that was not explained. Okay. Punk over there. Ah! to her. The suit looks really weird. So, you've accessed a network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Really? <laughs> I've run a full analysis. But I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Okay, we're going to use the typical robot voice. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of your abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Okay. Sure. I wonder if... So the robot's name is Adam. I wonder if that's like an acronym for something. I mean, it usually is. Do you have a theory already? As to what? Oh, okay. I guess that's a one-way door. Why we lost consciousness and abilities, go on. Oops. That, that's kind of cool. I like the counter. Actually playing as an ex parasite. Hmm. Potentially. I mean, it's said that those things get uh, memories as well. But she injected us like in Zero Mission. On what? Well, not Zero Mission. Which one was it? The Game Boy Advance one. The way she survived, because she came in contact with an ex parasite. And the way she survived was injecting herself with Metro DNA. Blinking it indicates there's a secret. Okay. 
Okay. So it's just gonna reveal secrets this time. It's not like Super Metroid. Also, I'm pressing B instead of A to confirm, which that's probably a habit of using the PlayStation controller too much. Yeah, that thing doesn't look good. Jeez. <laughs> okay. That's weird. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Omega cannon online. Right, once ch charge it. Hang on. I hold R. Why is it like... It's a little temperamental, I'm not gonna lie. Hold out to enter A mode and then... There we go, jeez. It's a little clunky to use, but I'll get used to it. I guess it's not a permanent thing. It's weird. Slimes. What's this? Damn, the background looks cool. Do anything worthwhile?
They look like Kabutos from Pokemon. Oh, yeah, a little. I think they're meant to be Chozo. So what is it? Why does it open the map? Also said to avoid the cold. Oh, fuck this thing. Yeah, this one's less broken down. Nope. Merciless. Oh fuck. Get through. <laughs> Toy. the other one I couldn't melee it you have one chance to escape but timing is really difficult I guess I must have fluked it oh yeah we've, we've seen it okay I should note that, like, from what I heard of this game, the inclusion of these things is what people get annoyed at. Because they kind of um, alter the flow of the game a bit. Like, instead of being able to explore in peace, you have to deal with those assholes. That thing creeps you out more than that level in Splunky, oh, I bet. I mean, it's a probe. Fuck you too. Oops. Uploading data. If any you encountered were clearly trying to capture you, they may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be hostile. Emmy send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon Shit. detecting vibrations, an Emmy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An Emmy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is it's just a natural the way it moves. I mean, it is a robot. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, the way its body kind of like shifts into crawling mode is a bit creepy. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. If a BME and it will disengage, this will also unseal the exits. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. 
I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. I did it the first time. We are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Okay. I find it weird that, you know, they sent these things to this planet to, uh, to take samples, effectively, and the way the dudes explain that they operate, like, they're guard robots. Why would you send a guard robot to do exploration? They're sentries, effectively. Why would you send a sentry to go explore a planet? It's weird. Um, I think I need the Morph Ball, which I don't have yet. Uh, okay. I think I got it. Okay, maybe not. I may have chosen Paul here. That might be a really important question. Well, I mean, yeah, like, the way the dude described them, it's like, they have to stay within a certain range, and they operate within a certain zone, and are programmed to patrol the zone. It's like, so, that sounds like a guard robot. What the fuck were they doing sending a guard robot to explore a large planet? It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> This is so annoying. Ugh. Salt on map here. The fuck is this map? Gotta go. sure like when it flashes on the screen that's when you can parry it hmm I just can't get over that gap that what is that Alright, 
Let's try and get around it again. Well, for fuck's sake. Like, really? I'm out of its range. What? But I can't... Ah! I really, really fucking dislike this already. <laughs> It's a Metroid game, let me explore! Alright, I'm out of- I'm out of the fucking Emmy zone. Oh shit. Uh oh. Did I miss a major item or something? Like... I feel like I've missed something major here. Okay. <laughs> I love the word progress is is very loose. It's a very loose term here. I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> My inner child is like, yeah, you can do it. You can totally do it. There'll be a gap. You can totally land that way. It's just... Gotta arc it perfectly. It's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, nah. You can't wall bounce in the water. Okay. Is that going to change anything here? There's progress. Ah, oh, dick. I'm gonna go back down. It looks like there's more to do here.
This is this is definitely a Halloween game. <laughs> Being relentlessly chased by those things. supposed to know. It's such bullshit. Okay, the red indicator. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, go down. Just gotta juke it. This is involving stealth, and I hate stealth. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Find it again. <laughs> you always thought it was weird to shoot the door to open them. It's probably the most American thing. But you can't open something, shoot it! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Alright, go this way. Oh, shit, jeez. Okay, sit still. I hate everything about this. Does it go with this? Okay. I have a bit more time now. Apparently, I can't get up that way. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Got to be kidding. I don't have. <laughs> don't. I don't have. The morph ball. I swear I, I, I feel like I've missed something major. Yeah, look, I can understand that they're doing this to do the tension, but like. Metroid games are usually about exploration, and having this happen right off the bat is kind of jarring. I mean, it's no comment on, like, how this works from a gameplay perspective. It's more like, dude, let me explore the fucking planet. <laughs> For at least the first hour of the game, then bring in the whole, oh, you have to worry about this. I have- I feel like I just haven't gotten my footing. Fuck. I'm no good at, like, these... these parry things. 
Oh, no, no, there's a lot of... Ah. Damn it, I gotta go around again. I feel like I'm stuck a little currently. I can't go back that way. to be a lower level somewhere. I wonder if it's possible to actually soft lock yourself in this. <laughs> like reach a point where you can't progress because you fucked up. How the fuck does it know? Like... You're meant to be... As, ah. I can't get in there. Well, I mean... I feel like I'm stuck, but I don't know which way to go. And it's because I don't have the morph ball, but... Hang on, let me see if the save room has a fast travel thing or some shit. Because that would be useful, and maybe I can go back to that previous save point. Where's the save room from here? That's a map station, that's a save station. Alright, I'm going to the save station. I don't know, usually what's typical of this is you get the morph ball. Because everything that I've seen so far involves using the morph ball, and I don't have it. Let me see if there's a teleport. Apparently there's no fast travel there. That's a cool death animation.
starting mechanics. At least the help automatically goes to you, which is nice. Don't save. Yeah, that doesn't appear to be fast travel. Um... Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, but, like, again! I kind of need the morph ball to get in there, I think. wall climb whilst this is active. Hmm. Imagine if I have reached a point of soft lock. Okay, what about this? Let's try... Nope, that does nothing. Can't go that way. It has to be through here, it's just where. Interactive device. Start shooting blindly at walls if I get stuck, uh, I guess that's true. Okay, maybe I need to slow down there. Maybe that is like I need to stop and aim. I just need to keep going. It'll get it to a height where I can go in. Okay. Fucking hell. That was frustrating. Okay.
It's locked. It's also locked. Oh, hello. This is what I was waiting for. That's not exactly what I was expecting. Okay. In addition, Samus can perform a charge attack by spin jumping when the... Okay. Oh. Alright, now we are way through these doors. Yeah, not a morph ball, but I'll take it. Some progress is better than no progress. Oh, I'm back here. Okay, I recognize this. Energy tank acquired. All right, cool. This way. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're back at the start. At least now I will feel good if I find something that I may have missed. Saving. This just goes down. It's a morph ball. Certainly got the eerie vibe to it. I'll give them credit there. They've nailed that shit. these doors? What do they lock? Uh, it's gotta be mm, speed related, I reckon. Okay, this is the door that I wanted, that I was like, shit, did I miss something important? 
think I couldn't get in here anyway without the charge shot, so... saving. <laughs> I'm going to be saving constantly. Because I just don't know when I'm going to get attacked by that asshole robot. Wait, but I... I can't get through here anymore. Okay. What? Ha! Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, if not out that way, then... I'm so confused. I can't get out this way either. Nope, that does nothing. are really nice. Just... Uh, I feel like the stealth robot thing just came into play too early. Thermal fuels flow has been redirected. There's just so many times where I feel like I've just been stuck. As a direct result of those fucking things. Um, I guess I'll just follow the door. Imagine if this is your first Metroid game ever, like how frustrating that would be. Okay. The 
Evidently not. It would be for you, what, frustrating or the first Metro game or both? I mean, I'm kind of frustrated at it already. But that's what I've heard about it, is like... Apparently the game is great, it's just... Ironically, <laughs> the mechanic that is new to it is the thing that detracts you the most. I think, all right, even, let's say even the robots wouldn't have happened right away. At the very least, if they let you get, you, like, I, you uh, I can't even speak sentences. Like, it will let you parry them off you. You know what I mean? Like, be lenient with it at the very least at the start. And then, when we get into it, then you get to those hardcore ones that you can't parry, where you really have to watch yourself. But, like, as a tutorial, you have seen the war let me kick the robot off me and let me explore in peace, for oh, fuck's sake. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. You know what? Now, now that this is happening, it's possible that's why they are hunting. Because they're meant to be hunting the ex-parasite. The situation remains I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it ends up being, like, with the next parasite. You must return to the ship. And Samus has actually you died. Activated the madness supply system. That or some shit like that. To the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. We'll have one encounter so you know what you're facing. But we did! That was the thing. The first one we faced was rusted. And... It, whilst scary, it was it was alright, but then immediately after it's like, oh okay. The insta death robot appears. Against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Thanks, dude. Thanks for being so bleak. Well, the name definitely is fitting. So what did I do when I redirected? Oh no, this- oh, there you go, this is open now. Give me my energy back, please. Thank you. Okay, follow the pipe. Um, we can deal with that later. Sasol's about to find me if I'm not careful. Okay, that just leads here. One, all right. Been doing anything to it? Okay, 
Wait, that's healing me. What the fuck? It's not. What? There it is. I'm so confused. Definitely Halloween like. I guess I have to face it. Fuck, I thought you were supposed to aim for it. Was that not a direct shot to the face? Ugh. I think I need more time to fire up my laser. Either that or I can't face it yet. Like maybe that's how I fucked up. Oh no no I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. Melt it off first. That's the lesson. Melt it off first, then go for it. It's not coming this way. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this takes forever. Got ya. Spider magnet acquired. Okay. 
Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Fucking hell. That was a little stressful. Is there anything else I can do in here? No. Nah. I guess we can't do that yet. Oh wow, we can climb like him now. Ooh, that's cool. So I guess this area is safe now. <laughs> safe. Oh, you dick. You need black and gold, say. Yep. Pretty much. Okay, we need the morph ball. We don't have that yet. Uh, let's go this side. Oh, I can't go that side. Side. Yeah, let's save. This is good time to save. This is at the start. I don't know why I keep coming in here. Don't go to the green area. means that it's under control. How do I get over to that side? That's what I wanted to do, but maybe I can't yet. Well, it looks like I can't. All right. Now there's just normal creatures here. Shit. this map. I like the climbing stuff though, it's cool. Alright, keep climbing up. Why is it closed now? Hmm. Alright, if that's locked, what are our options? I 
I guess I have to go back where I came from. Go down and to the left. I think I, I can start to see a problem with this already. Like these metallic areas, they look pretty much the same. So it's gonna be hard to distinguish like where I am. What the fuck? I'm already having problems like navigating. <laughs> well, no, but then I can't. Yeah, this way. Jeez. The thing that all games in this genre kind of need is they need distinct biomes so then you can kind of remember where you're going. because it's alternating between rock and metal at the moment. I have to keep checking the map. Okay, we're going up there now. Or am I? <laughs> no, I'm not. How did I even get up there? Alright, whatever. Okay. I have to keep checking the map constantly. Nope, can't go into the cold. Okay, but this is our next area. Or at least parts of it. I also miss the, the fanfare that plays. They've only saved it for upgrades instead of doing it when you get missiles as well. odds that that frozen door like goes back to normal aha uh -huh. all right noted I'm glad I did that otherwise I would have gone back to exploring and jeez That's a good thing to keep in mind. Okay, that's a that's a super speed tile. Yeah, okay, no. Don't go that way, apparently. Oh, it kills you pretty quickly. I'm just gonna go get the, what I got before and then 
Or am I? Ah! I'm all the way back here. Remove marker. Try and figure out where to go from here. I'm somewhere completely different. Um. Okay, I know where I am loosely. What is up? The Hang on. Looking, looking, go up that way. Apparently can't get up that way. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, no, go back. It's meant to go up. I guess that was just a pure fluke. I'm so confused as to why that's locked now. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Alright. Okay, well, progress again. There we go. Super duper blue cam for that door, maybe. I can't get out of here now, but. Oh, okay. Gross. Got it. Jeez. <laughs> okay. The live, isn't it? Nope. Okay, that is. Is that a hint as to what I'm supposed to do? Sneak under it. Okay. 
sacrifice. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Nearly. I needed to be better with my rockets. It wants its booty smacked. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Oh, fuck off. Get out of here. Alright, I'm ready for it this time. was easy. Alright, now I get it. I was so confused when I saw this. But I think it's supposed to parry there. monster. Shit. I 
before I died there. Shit, that was cool. Oh yeah, touch that, touch that. Go on. Makes sense. Phantom Cloak. An Aeon ability that renders Samus invisible to enemies by reflecting light. She can also move silently, albeit at a slower speed. With full Aeon, press R to activate. And once again to deactivate. Okay. That would have been useful at the start. Once all Aeon has been depleted, the Phantom Cloak will consume energy instead. Should it deplete to one, it will automatically deactivate. After the activation, Aeon will begin to recharge automatically once Samus makes any actions. The ability cannot be activated again until it is full. Okay. It's neat. Let me guess, I'm about to have a, a test run at it. No? Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Okay. Wow. Alright, that's how we proceed to those doors. See? For the past, like... How many minutes has it been since we've last seen all those Emmy fuckers? It's been good. It's been classic Metroid and I'm having fun. Through this blast now. Oh, this is cool. Got someone new. Uh, hang on. Before I do that, let's just see what's through this door. Nope. Okay. <laughs> new area. It is. So, got any knock-knock joke, Samus? No? Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Oh, that was bad. Straight through the fire. <laughs> Okay. This is already pretty bad. Nothing. Oh, fuck. Uploading data. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Tataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Tataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new phantom cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the enemy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Good. Note that using the Phantom Cloak severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. So I can't collide with it either. I just have the to hide. The Phantom Cloak is useless once an enemy sees you. You will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. Fucking hell. The Phantom Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. Yeah. Absolutely save my progress. Alright. Require energy plus. Yes, restore health. Thank you. Alright, uh, what's this over here though? It is redirecting the heat. Now this door's locked. Okay, I see how these doors work now. So as long as the thermal energy goes to it, I can open the door. Alright, makes sense. So I can melee this thing. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, so they're melee kills. Noted. I have to get good at melee. We go. Uh, have I made a mistake? I feel like I've made a mistake. Cloaking door, hang on. No, it's not that. Uh, 
It looks like a broken one. Oh boy, here we go. Let me just make sure. Okay, wait. Ah! <laughs> Fine. Okay. Ugh. The green one. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Just the way its body contorts. Ugh. I should not shoot. Yeah, no, I'm going through the door, thanks. <laughs> Hopefully it's gone. Just keep moving. timing is to actually kick it away. Ugh. Alright. Going this way. like this. <laughs> Fair warning, you may pass out at any moment. Ah, yes. Fall asleep to the sounds of the robot freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> it's alright. Fair enough. I hear it, it's chasing me. It's chasing me! As long as I keep moving. Okay, redirect the heat. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's 11. Okay, I thought it was later. Yes, please. Okay. Um, I'm good on energy. Or I was good on energy. Alright. No annoying robot <laughs> for a while. any further. It would seem. Well, this is one of these doors that you have to kill everything. No, okay. Then we leave. Oh, 
but you know who isn't around. Where's this going? It's going this way. Just follow the red pipe. First. Uh, let's just see what's this way. Nope. <laughs> uh, how many of these doors are there going to be? Oh, okay, I'm safe here. Directed. Okay, where is this going now? Out. Let's just get a quick energy recharge. He's still here. Go away. Go away! What the fuck is this? No, I have to go. Fucking cunt robot. <laughs> I was not gonna wait to die.
I mean, I just have to find my bearings again. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Just keep going this way. There appears to be a passage there. Oh. Oh, what have I done? It's a pressure pad. Ah, oh, it's on the other side! This thing's such a tremendous asshole. Okay, <laughs> it's gone. That door's gonna close behind me. Okay, finally. So where was this? Hang on, where was this going? Okay, there we go. So what it <sighs> Let me consult my map. Confused now where to go. That last death kind of threw me off a little. Don't go that way. Oh, that's already been hit. So this was just pressed. So this is what I don't get, like... Where does this room connect to? There has to be another way in here. Uh... 
the sensor lock door. We need to go that way. Go, okay, out and left. Fuck. Oh, of course he had to be here. Oh no. Okay, hide. Hope for the best. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I guess those are the little tunnels that can only use. What the heck is this thing? Looks like a looks like a cat. things. They hurt. Alright, great. Uploading data. Heavy stands for Expert Planetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any enemy you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capabilities. Jeez. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. That? Why do I get the feeling this thing is going to be the villain? Study each enemy carefully and use the phantom cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more alien when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy whenever you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Fair enough. Alright, let's go. Uh, I kind of figured. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's most likely going to be danger. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't tell if it's gone away or if it's close up. I think it's gone. No. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Why? Go away!
No, I have to I have to deactivate it. I'm just leaving the room. Ah, <sighs> oh, this thing is so annoying. I go back in. Hit me. Alright, it's fine. I'm through. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, what the fuck? How'd I fall? No. Ah, okay. There we go. We've hooked up with this room. Okay, back in here. Wait, I pressed the button, didn't I? Oh, it has to be a fully charged shot, okay. And now that's accessible. Okay, great. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It seems like this area's had its lava drained. I wonder. No? Okay. Just checking. Now I've got to deal with fuckface again. Okay, 
I would assume this is now accessible. still red. There's no way it's that. Alright, get back. I just wanted a break from this thing. got that lava cut down. set the room. So this is the part that I don't understand. This takes me back. I think that's for the tri beam. Yeah, all that does is just pushes the switch. things. Alright. But I guess that's the point. Excellent. Alright, where am I going from here? Okay. 
Ah, okay. I know what. That's this way. now an option. Asshole. I was gonna follow me. Okay. Go, go, go. Energy part one out of four. Oh, right, because the other one didn't count because I died. This one I can get out now. Okay, go to this one now. Hey. Now we're looking healthy. Not that it matters, because those things are still insta-kill. Suspicious room is suspicious. this oh traveling to another area shit already the fuck that seems a bit soon I feel like I haven't finished here though okay sure all right Maybe I'll find that this is a dead end. We shall see. <laughs> that just reminds me of Oddworld. So. No any, uh... No any good stories, Samus? No? 
Well, guess we'll just uh, stand here awkwardly. anything in here? Doesn't look like it. How about the other way? Oh, the other way is a dead end. Really? I do not have the tools to go through here yet, so... This is, why does this cutscene have to be so awkward? It's just so weird. It's quiet. Like, I get it. It's meant to be a loading screen, but it just feels weird. Like, Samus doesn't have a sense of humor. cause. Just because I haven't actually resolved this area. Hmm. Actually, I should recharge my energy. I'm low. Go. Oh, the, uh, this thing's not on. Oh, but it's been redirected. So I actually can't go back. There has to be another door somewhere. But this just goes here. I'll get back. I can't use this again. What? Uh oh.
Okay, come on, there has to be a simple solution to this. There's a secret, it flashes. Ah, uh, but it's like... So confused. I'm going back. But I couldn't see any clear way forward. There's no way back. Not without a way to turn that uh, bent on. I could have done here, like a loading screen. Okay. I guess either figure it out or I don't know. Curl up into a ball. There's no way forward. I'm not going crazy. Look, it'd be obvious if there was a way forward here. Loading screens, jeez. Okay. I would have expected like a weapon upgrade here. I'm pretty much dead here. an ability, clearly.
Can I can I turn this the other way? Dude, I'm stuck. Like, I don't know where to go. I feel like I've exhausted every option here. Unless there's... There's a secret somewhere. This didn't flash. How can I make this go the other way? It's not melee. Get myself stuck here. Uh, so am I just stuck? Is my only option to die? There's got to be something I'm overlooking here. Get this. Okay, at least this thing is dead. God. Okay, something simple. Okay, I feel like such an idiot. Yeah! And I died now. How far back am I? Okay, good. It saves it here. I mean, quick save. I assume it's not a full save. assume that everything... Okay, there's a save room. Okay. Well, this is kind of what I wanted to reach anyway. I was like, let me find the save room in the next area and then... 
I'll leave it be. So this is where I'm gonna leave it be, because I feel, I got the feeling exploring this out is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Yeah, it was fun.